so you find out that negative things are happening around your family every time money comes everybody becomes sick till the money goes down just calling a family meeting is not a way of solving it you go back at least for tonight i am a spirit body i'm not going to be deceived by what is happening Shatakata, Rekotaski. you need to get into that decision room that boardroom in the spirit what is going on over my destiny within that boardroom if you don't plant anything in a farm something will still grow because you are not the only farmer around your farm the bible says while men slept another farmer who was waiting for them to sleep do not believe you are the only farmer over your destiny there is a devil waiting there to put seed so you go to bed and reap a harvest you can't remember sowing no i can't reap what i did not participate in this it's against the law of god i should reap what i sow ah but do you not know that your ignorance is also a farmer it can sow ignorance can sow ephesians 4 and verse 18 having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them that ignorance can alienate you please hear me we are going to pray that it be done in earth as it is in heaven so god created me i'm not just an engineer or a doctor don't be deceived by the geography of your assignment don't be deceived by male or female all those things do not matter in the realm of the spirit god separated a man to become male and female simply because he wanted to act out a dimension of his love i hope you know both male and female are dimensions of god he separated them to achieve two reasons one procreation so that they will fill the earth but number two so that there will be the clearest example of the relationship between god and man so if you don't study women there is a dimension of god you will never know no wonder both them and the holy ghost are called helpers i deserve dinner for this good this good word listen to me listen to me i didn't come from a region where physically speaking there was any advantage as far as ministry is concerned sincerely but i knew that living my life to chance i would be a frustrated man of god and one day you have to ask me and say did he really call you brothers and sisters I came to show you something tonight. I know you have been praying. But remember, the speaking is only when light comes. When you just speak because you heard someone speak, help that guy under the anointing, please. Your speaking makes no sound in the realm of the spirit until light. Because it is in his light that we see light. And when we now see that light, then we can speak, we can command. I am not just a man. I look like a man. You see a man. But this is only a host. The spirit man has exclusive contact with the realm of the spirit. Where realities are stored. This is the warehouse of possibilities. And by this agency called prayer the bible gives us the privilege to select the possibilities we want to see manifest prayer is many things among them the opportunity that god gives you to go to the warehouse yourself but who shall ascend i will say and then he came down to you the word of god is his possibilities coming down to you 
so that there's no more complaint i cannot go to heaven to find out what is there this bible is a compendium of god's commitments to you that if you find any truth there god is committed the word of god is the boundary of his commitment to the believer that is not all he can do but that is all he has defined he cannot come to you beyond the boundary of scripture so i find here that i am the head and not the tail i find here that i am above and not beneath but i'm the only one reading it the person looking at me is not reading it and it's not even interested it is left for me to activate the possibilities that compel them to do what the word of god has said and one of the key for tonight is prayer that prayer is not just an activity of exerting effort so that you will feel spiritual uh -uh. prayer is not just a way of trying to manage guilt or feeling like you are not being serious with god the urgency is more than that that every time you pray many things happen one of it is you give an opportunity for the holy ghost to search the mind of the father and when he searches the minds of the father he will open the file where the archives of your destiny is and because you have now been joined to him that he that is joined to the spirit is one are we bible people so the holy spirit can come and begin to reveal to you the things that pertain to your destiny you are in need of spiritual power because you need it in ministry and while you pray the holy ghost he knows where the power is stored it is in his office and he will draw that power and bring that power on a mortal man you were born of a woman with no capacity for supernatural things but you now engage a mystery that turns you into a sign and a wonder do you know you can change your job change your boss change the outcome in your life the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen so we can look at things unseen they are unseen not unreal unseen for the things that are seen are temporal you went to school temporal means subject to change under a certain condition not every condition rejoice not over me i have found the key that changes my outcomes so while i may look like a weak helpless person with no helper i know how to call them calling them physically is a burden they don't even know they are my helpers so i go to that place where my spirit can make contact with the father and then from that light i declare those who have been apportioned to help my destiny while i'm praying the holy ghost goes around port Harcourt looking for them because he's called the father of spirits every spirit is under his authority listen please hear me do you believe what i'm sharing with you One of the major assignment of angels is for that kind of childishness. Angels begin to work when you are serious about programming your destiny. Their assignment is to make happen. Execute what God said. They execute what you have believed that God said. I came here tonight to do two things. One to open you up to the fact that you are not just a body please find a way of understanding this you are not just a body waiting for situations and circumstances or waiting for a preacher to pray for you there is a place for that 
but that you are you are shortchanging the advantage of your duality you are not taking advantage of it that god invested this strategy in man so that every time the earth wants to fail you you compel it to obey you can i tell you this the earth has never been disobedient it was only designed to respond to certain sounds there was something noah did and he stood close to his ark and all the animals started coming noah never went to look for them if you know that thing whatever he did you too you can stand and begin <laughs> listen hold on the animals did not come one by one they came two by two so that there will be continuity of that result male and female to ensure that that result reproduces because when it happens only once it is not favor no that's breakthrough the proof that is favor is that it is consistent regardless of the human participators so whether you are in lagos or abuja or portacot the outcome should be the same you will think i'm boasting i am not human beings are simply actors the script writer is you so don't tell me it's because i'm staying here nobody wants to help me in portacot because i was not born here it's the obvious answer not the right one when i found this i knew i found my way so the advantage of participating with the realm of the spirit in prayer can provide me an advantage to remedy what my background see it is based on this that the bible says for we know the rest may not know because they don't know what we are made of but the holy spirit has educated us enough to know for we know that all things work together they may not start together but eventually work together the pain should not be in the equation but since it has now come there is still a way of making it useful in the oh this is god for you one of the things that makes a chef a chef is the ability to use anything to make sense are we are we together now yes god is like that so what should not have been in the equation if it does come he says no problem it's all right there is still a technology in my wisdom that i can still work it out to make sure that it becomes for your good why because you love the lord and you are the called according to his purposes so tonight we are going to change things in this place in the next five to ten minutes we are going to rewrite things we are going to end cycles now listen listen i know you have been praying but now your pastor called for this solemn assembly to open you up to the futility of the flesh and this physical realm outside of the assistance of heaven please hear me everyone who is a worker here hear me your lot is in your understanding not your office your portion is not in your office it's in the realm of the spirit so an attack on your prayer life satan is not interested in your prayer he's only interested in anything that will cut you from participating in the realm of the spirit and since he found out that prayer is one of them he's attacking it satan does not care about your prayer no he only cares about that connection when we pray we are not being religious when we pray we engage angels we engage the holy spirit he begins to search the mind of the father what is supposed to happen in her life between november and december 2020 the holy ghost is searching the mind of the father oh 
she's supposed to have received the restoration you will think i'm joking until your life begins to testify in strange ways this meeting you are seeing now has been finished long in the realm of the spirit so when i'm praying i'm speaking over you i'm not creating something new no i'm merely transporting a reality that has been well discussed with god that this is how you are going to invade these people's lives and turn their lives around that's why he brought you from wherever you were it's proof that a discussion was happening in the spirit listen when you understand this go back this night wake up in the night put your office files on the floor shalaska makapranda kabato seketeba ekros kebarush kabaranta i speak favor in the name of jesus i am bula hefziba the delight of the lord when you are done on monday morning dress well pick your file go to the office already angels are there because you sent them already the holy ghost is there find a way of believing what i'm saying tonight listen 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 when you go back home and everybody is lamenting don't feel bad but don't join them again you came for a conference that has educated you listen things are not going well in this family the pandemic has made things bad and suddenly you remember the message and you say please excuse me for the next two hours and you step into your inner chambers and say i am not just a mere human being there is the duality of my being the advantage of priesthood you begin to mention your loved ones by name i speak favor in the name of jesus i command open doors they are loving jesus and while you are making these declarations hear me how it will happen the dynamics is none of your business leave it to the artistry and the wisdom of the spirit hear me when you pray favor upon your life don't pray and say god use my uncle that's 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 fake prayer there are 7.2 billion actors for this movie don't limit the producer's capacity leave him to decide time for things to change in my life it's time for things to change in my family listen 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 help that lady I command that spirit to leave now a time will come listen ah I wish I had time listen a time will come when you are so into your priesthood your words and your thoughts begin to pray so even when your words are silent your thoughts keep praying the bible says god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so your thinking is also a prayer warrior you can get to a point where even when you are done praying physically the prayer still continues so before you even say it your thought has already placed it as a request hallelujah that you get to a point in your life where if in 24 hours no one favors you you'll go on a retreat because you ask a question what happened to the harvest from the seeds i've sown hallelujah please give me five minutes and we're done with today's service we're going to be praying and while we're praying two things will happen here number one 
that if at all any chain followed you here except God is not God here at house on the rock Potakot, that as you pray those chains must fall that tomorrow by tomorrow morning you will not even be able to testify you will stand here and wonder the God that doeth wonders is someone ready to pray lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit come on house on the rock through faith we understand that the worlds were made framed by the word of God Pray. You are commanding power in the realm of the spirit. Program realities over your destiny. Program realities over your life. Arise, shine for your light is come. Even the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Outside, make sure you are praying at the overflows. Those online, make sure you are praying. Determine the outcome of your destiny. You are a priest unto God. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Unctions are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight for the kings to arise, for revival to return, for the kings to be born, for revival to return. Yeah. Ali, Ali, yo, Ali, yo, Ali, Ali, yo. Hallelujah. Two weeks ago, I had an encounter with the Lord. And I usually am careful talking about encounters. And I've met many saints, many, many of the saints, the patriarchs, some in the Bible and some in modern history. And I was led to a room in the spirit. And then I placed my hand on a jar of oil. And when I placed my hand on that jar of oil, the Lord spoke to me and said, You are entering the next season of your apostolic mission upon the earth. He said, I will empower you with greater grace for signs, wonders, miracles. To reveal Jesus, to bring life to that which is dead. That encounter was so real, shifted to new dimensions. And so tonight, more than the miracles, the signs and the wonders, I want you to discern. Because whatever he gives Jacob, it is because of Israel. 
Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Tonight we are going to start with an impartation. There is an impartation. There are unique graces the Lord sent me with. The church in Zaria needs an introduction of certain dimensions of grace. One of it is discernment. There is a grace. I stretch my hands. Please bring all those people out. Many of you, some of you are already in ministry. There is the spirit of discernment. I stretch my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, shift your people. Shift your people to dimensions of discernment. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you the grace for discernment. Where are my people? Take that grace. 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 The grace for discernment. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you the grace to understand the speakings of the Spirit. Per time, per season, per time, per season. Those following online, receive that impartation. In the name of Jesus, the days that we live in will require discernment. Strong meats, the Bible says, belong to them who are mature, full of age, who by reason of use have exercised their senses to discern. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, all of you who had churches, prayer groups, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Fresh discernment for the season. Take that anointing. Fresh discernment for your ministries, for your groups, for your churches. Overflow one, overflow two, three by the road. Those following online, drink of this grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Gentlemen, where are you coming from? Do we have another mic? Is it working? What do you have to do with Lagos? I just I came from Dubai to Lagos. From Dubai to Lagos? Yes, sir. You are coming from Lagos. There is a grace that you are going to carry. Huh? And you will never be the same again. I stretch my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come on you. Take that grace. Walk wonders with it. Whether it's in Lagos, Dubai, in the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Number two. The second grace that must fall upon this place is the grace for prophetic intercession. There are men and women that must arise. That's how revival came to this city. I stretch my hands. Ordinary people who may not even be in ministry. Zaria, hear me. Take the grace for prophetic intercession. The grace to travel. The grace to pray. To pray the birthing of true apostolic and prophetic revival. I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me Two of you hold your hands. You and this man on green. Two of you, lift your hands. 
I'm seeing an anointing coming on you. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Step into new levels in the spirit. New dimensions of authority. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. Father, the role I have to play in this end time move of the spirit, I obtain grace. I obtain grace. Someone pray. Not just in Zaria. Across the nations. The role that I have to play. I obtain grace. I obtain grace. It says, Lo, I come. As it is written of me. In the volume of the book. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The third grace that must rest on people is the restoration of the healing anointing. Listen, listen, let me tell you this. Honestly speaking, there are few people who have truly seen the healing anointing at work. I know there are testimonies, but the Spirit of God spoke to me towards the end of last year. That on earth there is a restoration of the healing ministry. Like a ministry. The healing ministry. There are few men on earth who are truly working in the healing ministry. And this is not only happening in Zaria. All across Africa. All across the globe. The Spirit of God is hovering around the horizon looking for a people that are available enough to carry that grace. Where is the mantle that was on T.L. Osborne? Who did it fall on? Where is the mantle that was on Reinhard Bonke? Who did it fall on? Where is the mantle that was on Charles and Francis Hunter? Who did it fall on? I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and I stretch my hands towards you. Father, the men and women that must carry this healing grace for this region. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Let there be a pattern of that hunger. Contact the grace for the healing ministry. Contact the grace for the healing ministry. I am victorious. I have overcome it. I am victorious. I am. An impartation is a transference of possibilities so that you have something you did not come with. The grace that is required for the season. Now listen to me. I want to pray a prayer before we begin to minister to the sick. Please look at me. Every move of God, no matter how spectacular, there are always apostolic and prophetic leaders listen to me by leaders I don't just mean those who head ministries no there are men who are like watchmen they are kept at strategic prophetic locations and given the eyes that see and the ears that hear so that they can help regulate the activity of the kingdom there are some of you inside and outside that office and that ministry God is handing over to you I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus everyone who by the election of grace will eventually play this role in your group, in your state in your nation at the count of three I pray may that grace, may the unction that backs that office that call let it come upon you now one, 
two, three. Take that grace. 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 Let the angels assigned to that office follow you. Let the backing made for that office follow you in the name of Jesus. Listen, I'm sensing in my spirit before we begin to pray and release miracles and deliverances, there needs to be, listen to me, there is a spirit that has been fighting the prophetic ministry in Zaria and in this region. Many of you are truly called to the prophetic, but the maturity to receive with clarity, so many visions that don't come to pass many compromised perceptions and it has brought a lot of misleading to people and it has made others to mislead others it doesn't mean you are evil when the devil saw the birthing of a strong prophetic grace he began to corrupt it because when a heart is sincere and open you need to be sound in doctrine to operate in the prophetic if you are not sound in doctrine you will see things you will hear things and not deciphering them from the intelligence of scripture you will mislead yourself and mislead others when people become prayerful there is a side effect to it the side effect is that their organs of interacting with the realm of the spirit is heightened and open that means they will see and they will hear and if your prophetic gift is not exalted or the word of God is not exalted above it Satan will easily steal into your sincerity so we have people confused directed by men and women who today they are right tomorrow they are wrong today they say this I want to pray for a grace that purifies the prophetic ministry a dealing of the spirit that once again let's have authentic prophetic voices voices that say thus saith the Lord and it is thus saith the Lord I stretch my hands oh God of my covenant I pray find men and women who must drink of this grace with the purity that comes with the grace take that grace right now I ignite fire on your prophetic altar I ignite fire on your prophetic altar in the name of Jesus a gift that is balanced with doctrine and understanding of scripture in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. There is a mighty move of God that will begin to happen in secondary schools in this city. It once happened for those of you who have been here long enough. But let me tell you what killed it. And you hear me. What killed the move of God among these young folks? is inaccurate mentorship that's what killed it because many of them began to manifest dimensions that they did not understand and sincerely went to people who they felt would guide them and they began to teach them favoritism competition segregation of others in the body they began to fight denominations and some of these young boys some of them are you people now and you see the aberrated growth Every true move of God brings love, character, humility, honor. But once again, I've seen this, that the fire of God, there is a covenant God has with this city. 
and once again these secondary schools you see but here is the mistake and all of you who will be in a position to help these young ones don't destroy them and make it look like they will not be used by god no joash was age eight when he became king josiah age nine he told jeremiah do not say i am a child don't despise those graces and don't be intimidated by the graces see true fatherhood does not seek exclusivity true fatherhood derives his joy from the lifting of others superstar christianity has died oh, has finished the desire to be exclusive is a very demonic lost flesh driven desire so we must guide these people they will start coming with visions they will start coming with encounters they will start coming with revelations of the spirit like samuel running to eli some of you they will reveal dimensions you are not already working in and yet god will mandate that you help them don't allow your flesh get in the way that you kill the grace of these people because you are intimidated number two there is a move of god that will sweep across the youth groups of churches in this city it is something that god will do globally but there is a major regardless the denomination youth groups in churches will begin to catch fire in dimensions it will come with a lot of persecution a lot of persecution but let the young people not dishonor the fathers because of what god is doing no when you fight a father whether you are right or wrong you are judged some of the fathers may be ignorant some of them respectfully speaking may be walking in the flesh but the endurance the stamina you have God can use everything good or bad to be part of your making process. You must endure hardship like a faithful soldier of Christ. Number three. I'm not a prophet of doom. But we must pray. I have seen an onslaught of darkness that is coming across the regions. The first time I saw this was in 2018. In a vision of the Lord that he revealed to me. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ in this city is the restraining power over evil. And when the devil wants to launch an arsenal of, of an onslaught, what he will do is to make those who are strong become weak. Then he will make those who are weak become vulnerable. Are we together now? And the sword of the spirit that should be used to fight the warfare of faith will now be used against churches, against denominations. And while all of that is happening, Satan comes to sow seeds. That's why I said the unity of the body is important. It's a mystery how God has kept peace and tranquility in this city. With the antecedents and with the history. Towards the end of last year, I was told again and again that they began to kidnap people, attack people and all of that. And I'm not the only one in this city, but I felt a sense of responsibility. And I said, in the name of Jesus, the elements of the supernatural were designed as systems of advantage for the believers. And every true apostolic grace is territorial. We must pray for the peace of Jerusalem. He said, they shall prosper who love you. And we must give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem as a praise. This is when the intercessors should arise. Give me tea and bread is not it. Father, we fortify the spiritual border of this territory. For the sake of kingdom come. That must be the prayer. Are we blessed? Let's pray for the sick now. Our time is gone. Goodness. Even if we do this in 10-15 minutes, I think tonight was, was worth it. Listen. If God is calling you into ministry... Understand that ministry is a serious business. It's not just about pulpit. No. Here is 
That's the price to be used by God. It's yours. One more time. Sing. to minister deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why deliverance? Because demons are real. Forces of darkness are real. They truly are real. And they have a singular assignment to spy upon the liberty of the saints. To sabotage the purposes of God. To fight the faith and the joy of the saints. It says hitherto you have not asked for anything. It says ask that you will receive. To the end that your joy may be complete. There are elements of wickedness that are behind the tragic occurrences in the lives of people. And whilst God's ultimate desire for, is for us to eventually be fortified through the revelation of the word. So that our arsenal is so strong that there is no need for these assaults. But until then, we must remain midwives. To see to it that everybody who is under the yoke of darkness experiences the delivering power of Jesus Christ. Upon Mount Zion he said there shall be deliverance, then holiness, then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I want to pray for you. There is a name. Some of you came here with challenges. You came here with all kinds of oppressions. When we minister to people by the Spirit, it's not just some show to scatter people up and down. No, no, not at all. It is for your freedom. You heard what the dear lady said. There are spirits behind the occurrences of people. And he has sent us as carpenters. I want to pray for you now. Inside and outside. That every force that is not of God is about to let you go. I'm seeing a cloud over overflow one and several deliverances are happening now bring the people out just overflow one there is a mighty move of the spirit in overflow one I'm seeing light just bring them here we will shout hallelujah we will shout praise the Lord we will dance in the spirit and rejoice forevermore Allah is turning things around Allah is turning things around yeah Allah Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, everyone here and every family represented that is under the influence of any strange spirit that is not of the Christ. As we shout that name, I declare, by the ministry of fire, let there be judgment over every spirit. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command those forces. We are still praying. The Lord is showing me the hands of people with rings on them. This represents a legal access that the devil has over your family. But the Bible says even the lawful captive shall be delivered. In the name of Jesus I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. Every family 
fear in bondage right now let fire by the fire of the holy ghost i declare deliverance right now deliverance right now every family every family every family be relieved now every family be relieved now every yoke yokes of ancestry forces of darkness against families be delivered now there is no place for you tonight the bible says and there was no more place for him in heaven there was no more place for him in heaven no more space for the activity of darkness over your life your family your ministry hear me listen look up please there are forces that fight the advancement of people. You see people moving and getting old, but nothing is moving in their life. There are chains that tie down the destinies of men. I want to pray now, because I'm seeing people here. There are people here, you should have been 10 times better than you are now. But there are chains holding you. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will shout that name again. And that chain must be set on fire. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I set those chains. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Over my life, over my destiny. I stand fast in that liberty. And I refuse to be entangled again. Unto any yoke of bondage. Cordelia. I'm hearing a name Cordelia. Who is Cordelia? Cordelia. Is that her name? Your name is Cordelia. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Cross River. Cross River. I want to pray for you. Your time of liberty has come for you and your family. Who is Ayuba? Ayuba. I'm hearing a name Ayuba. Ayuba. Is there someone like that? We may not have all the time. Ayuba. Where is that? Where are you coming from? Huh? Sir, please come. No, 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 you don't have to remove your shoes, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? From Zaria. You're from Zaria here. Can I pray for you, sir? Yeah. Because the Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. I need to pray for our father, sir. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm seeing the devil wants to plant sickness in your body. First, high blood pressure. And then rheumatoid arthritis. We have to pray it away. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you. And I declare by the spirit of grace, Amen. you are completely free. Amen. Free from high blood pressure. Amen. Free from arthritis. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Free from high blood pressure. Free from arthritis in the name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. 
Why are they here? All of you that name? My dear, from Cross River, come. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this lady. Look at me. You return back a living wonder. The Lord himself, I release that grace. In the name of Jesus. Complete deliverance for your family and end comes. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is going to come on one of you. There is, there is a unique expression of God's grace on one of you. I'll pray for everyone, but one of you. There is a grace you are about to drink from. I stretch my hands to you. Jane, is it Jane, Jane or Janet? Something like that. We may not have the time. Our time is gone. I'm trying to walk that we close on time. You know the times now. You are wearing like a yellow something with white. Is there someone like that? Come, madam. Where are you coming from? What's your name? My name is Janet. From where? From Ghana. Come. Shilaski Branda Ayo. 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 You are inside this auditorium. Ayo. Is I your male and female? Huh? What's your name? Ayomi De. Is that your name? What's your name? Huh? Okay. I want to pray for you. Um, there is... This mama with the face mask, this one wearing this come let me pray for you no 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 you can put up your face where are you coming from from Kagoro I want to pray for you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old the Lord is doing a new thing I stretch my hands and I declare Oppression comes to an end over your life and over your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please stand up, ma. I rebuke the spirit of death. I'm seeing the month of June and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Hear me, let me speak to you. Whoever digs a pit for you, may that person fall inside that pit. I say it again, every manifestation of the spirit of death, looking for anyone's destiny, with long life shall I satisfy you and show you my salvation. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the grave is shut over you. In Jesus' name I pray. My dear, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace, the favor that needs to rest upon your life in this season. I declare over you, let it come now. There is an unction coming on you, my dear. You will never be the same. It's the favor of the Lord. It comes upon you. That lady holding a Bible. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on her. Step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will start having prophetic dreams. Prophetic encounters. God will begin to reveal things for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, my friend. Where are you coming from? You are in Zaria here. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord show you mercy. Show you mercy. Show you His grace. In Jesus' name. Mama, come. 
It's time for your story to change. Where are you coming from? Come from Kaduna. Kaduna? Yes. You didn't come alone. Did you come alone? I'm seeing a boy. Where is he? Okay. You, are you a son? Did you come with her? Yeah, we came. We are, we are three. We are four. Uh-uh. You came with her. My question. Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? We are from a boy state, but we reside in Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. I want to pray for you. No, no, no. Just stand, Mama. You don't have to kneel, please. You see, seasons can change. This is something I want you to know. And it's not only time that changes seasons. Prophecy can change seasons. Hallelujah. Mama, I want to pray for you. And for your son, and by extension the children. That in the name of Jesus, God will change your season. The Bible says, turn again the captivity. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I stretch my hands towards you and I declare. Grace. Grace. For you. For a change of season. For you my friend, I want to pray. What do you do? You are a business person? Yes. Is that all you do? Let's keep on. Service. I want to pray for you. You are going to become a great leader. I stretch my hands. The grace for leadership. May that grace come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Drink of that grace. You will never be the same. It's an ignition. It will set you on fire. Your life will be turned into another man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, the pain that you feel around your abdominal region. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. it will never return to you again. Amen. And I want to pray. Well, when I'm praying for the sick, then you will come. Huh? That medical report will not kill you. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. It will not kill you. Where? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We have to pray against cancer. There are medical practitioners here. And this is a, it's an onslaught from darkness. To just attack people's destinies and destroy them. Very deadly evil. We have to rebuke that spirit. I hope I'm not wasting your time. In the name of Jesus. The spirit that backs cancer. Sending it to families. Sending it to bodies. To destroy and cut short the life of people. Help them. You see what is happening. In the name that is above all names. Any family here that has been appointed. That they would diagnose you or someone around your family. With that evil. Right now in the name of Jesus. Wherever that arrow comes from, Shemata Skebata, Reketelika Tebranda Skajibata, we send it back to hell now. We send it back to hell now. Those following online, we send it back to hell now. You are sick in your body. Lay your hands there right now. We are doing our best to see that we do not so compromise on some of the COVID principles. There is only so much we can do. Lay your hands right there. Please expect a miracle right now. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. If it is a part of your body... You cannot touch. Just lay hands on your chest. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just lay hands on your chest. All those who are here under the anointing, I command the spirits that trouble you to go now. Go out of their lives, their families, forever. In the name of Jesus, I speak peace. I speak rest. Now, let it be gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. No divination and no enchantments against you will prosper. 
in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for the sick. Let me tell you this. Look up, please. Every manifestation of sickness is a call of death. It's a token of death. Are we together now? Because when sickness comes, the goal is not just to leave you sick. Now here and there, there are just biological occurrences here that can be managed just by good health exercise. But there are sicknesses you know. This one is not a medical condition. It comes under the guise of a medical condition. I want to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus. If you're standing for someone, please agree by faith. I'm seeing some of you lift photos. I really wish that we could lay hands on people and pray, but so that we may not have issues with authorities. I want to pray, but I want you to believe. Lay your hands. Believe by faith. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. This is the place of revival. Do to me what you want. This is the place where your life is changed. Do to me what you want. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil behind every disease, every sickness, every infirmity. I command be gone now in the name of Jesus. Be gone now in the name of Jesus. Then I decree and declare be healed now. Help them please. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every oppression now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every bone condition. In the name of Jesus be healed now. Every blood condition. In the name of Jesus be cleansed now. Every malfunctioning organ. Hear the word of the Lord. We declare a supernatural creative miracle right now. Every cardiovascular issue in the name of Jesus be healed now. Everyone, especially those following online, some in hospitals, suffering from COVID-19, in the name that is above all names, we declare as the church of the living God, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be healed now. Be cleansed now. Be healed now. Be cleansed now. HIV, be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. My great headache be healed now. Issue of blood be healed now. Every kind of growth around your body be healed now. Pile be healed now. All sorts of ulcers be healed now. lump on your breast area or any part of your body we cost it by the power that raised Christ from the dead there's someone here you have you have a problem with your breast and already from the medical report the way it is going if God does not help you they will have to cut it off I pray right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead 
let there be a supernatural miracle for you now in the name of Jesus a supernatural miracle now there's someone your body shakes like it looks like Parkinson's disease but you are not old enough to have that kind of thing and then it's not shaking under the anointing this is a very demonic demonic occurrence the power of God is coming on you now and that ends that that evil in the name of Jesus Christ every long-standing issue issues that have refused to go in the name that is above all names they must answer to the word of God now let me pray for all of you who are lifting up the medical reports or the names of maybe loved ones that you're trusting God for. I stretch my hands, all of them who desire healing in the name that is above all names. Supernatural healing for them now. Supernatural healing for them now. Supernatural healing for them now. In the name of Jesus. Now, did you bring your prayer requests? Please, very quickly. Whilst everyone prays in the spirit, we are praying in the spirit. Ushers, PR, please help them very quickly in two, three minutes. Let's make this happen. If you are yet to write, write quickly. Those online, I'm sure we have received your prayer request. Please, let's have it very quickly. We need to pray. Whilst that is happening, everyone, please be in the mood of prayer. We are praying. We are praying. The meeting is still on. Overflow one, two, three, four following online please lift your voice pray just hand over your request someone will be waving his or her hands ushers please help them pr help them please let's make this happen very quickly or someone can collect it on their behalf and just lift it up please We're about to pray. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Are you still praying? Father, my life must change. I came believing that you are able. Lift your voice and pray. Don't miss any moment in this service. Where are you coming from? Yes. Huh? Zaria here. Come. I want to pray for you. God is going to use you. He will use you for His glory. Don't despise yourself. You will be a mighty tool in the hand of God. I stretch my hands to you. Let grace be poured upon you. Don't cry. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, you will be used by God. And that illness that plagues you comes under judgment now. I command it to give way at the instance of the word. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, if you are yet, just wave yours and someone, if no one has, is, is there to pick yours, just, just wave it. Those online following from whatever nation, connect by faith. We are praying now. Our usual call choice is to ask, to ask all of the people trusting God for miracles to come out and then we just spread some of the leaders and ministers to do a quick work. But I doubt if we are going to be able to use 10 minutes to do that. Because sometimes ministering like that, even though we make contact, but it's going to be difficult. And then so that it doesn't give an impression like we are not completely law abiding you know um, the times and the the laws of the land may not allow for that kind of contact so I hope you understand but by faith I want you to receive receive we may not have the time all of the time now but I want you to receive we are about to pray please let's have all the requests if you are writing write quickly because these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus, someone is waving. Please, ushers, be attentive to them. I hope there's someone collecting for overflow three by the roadside. Overflow two, is there someone doing that? Those of you who sent it through our media, our social media platforms, believe by faith. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Yahweh. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. The Bible says, Be anxious for nothing. It says, But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known. Don't assume that he knows it. He says, let your request be made known. So this is a prophetic instruction. An act of faith. Making our request known. By writing it down. By bringing it before the altar of the Lord. We are coming to he who has the ability and the power to answer prayers. And whilst I bow my knees like Paul would do for the church in Ephesus, I like you to pray by faith and I like you to make strong decrees by faith that this Egyptian that I see today, you know what you wrote here. I like you to release your faith and say this is 2021. As a global family, this is our year of victory. It must speak in my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. 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 Sheba kata parus kade balata. Shaprande kete maskani pala. Ebra koto soto parita bash. Lekete pranda kata prande kete balados.
the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand prophetically upon this request. And I decree and declare. That everything written here. In the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. Let it return to you as testimony. Everything written. Help those under the anointing. Miracles are already happening. Every breakthrough. That is needed in your life. I release it to you in the name of Jesus. Every situation and every issue of concern. Spying upon your liberty in Christ. In the name of Jesus it is silenced now. It is silenced now. It is silenced now. Whatever you wrote here. That must end. We agree that it ends now. Whatever you wrote here. That must begin. We agree that it begins now. Whatever you wrote here. That must continue. We declare that it continues in the name of Jesus. Whatever you wrote here that must be judged, we declare judgment upon it now. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whoever you stood in for here by faith, they may not have been able to make it and may not even be following online. But out of your compassion, you were able to involve them here. May the angel of the Lord's presence, may the good hand of God locate them wherever they are across this globe. And, and work wonders in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'd like you to receive the prophetic words. It's a season of victory. I want you to please believe. Words are powerful. I declare that from now, step into a season of joy and laughter. Step into a season of joy and laughter. It says, you have turned my mourning into dancing my sorrow to joy. I, I, I call to end the days of sorrow. I call to end the days of mourning. I appoint unto you a new season of laughter. In the name of Jesus, whatever represents stagnation in your life that will not let you move forward, I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. And in the name of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In your career, go forward. In ministry, go forward. In business, go forward. In your academics, go forward. Hallelujah. I prayed over a church yesterday where I ministered. The grace for visibility. The Bible says, you are a city that is set on a hill. You see, one of the ways that God brings honor to you is to give you visibility. Visibility means he gives you an exalted platform where your gift, your grace, and your value can be discerned, can be engaged, and can be rewarded. We all need this in our lives. There are many gifted people without a platform that gives them visibility. When it was time for Jesus to enter into Jerusalem, he didn't say, well, I'm king of kings. He said, bring a donkey. I need something that elevates me. So that in that exalted position, I can have a triumphant entry. A triumphant entry cannot happen when your feet is still on the ground. It needs to be exalted. I prophesy to someone, in the name of Jesus, in this season, the supernatural platform that God would have to give your ministry, your business, to give you multiplied visibility. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 
receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus some of you here are in ministry and you love the Lord with all your heart but the truth is that the current level of grace you carry you have the work that now is before you you will need a higher level of grace the level of grace that you now have you will not be able to do much our possibilities are governed among many other factors by the quality and the dimension of grace that is upon us so grace and peace is multiplied i pray for you everyone have you ever wondered why god has not forgotten about your case have you ever wondered why god is still interested in your life and this is the reason because there is more there is more to what god has for you there is more to what god has for your destiny there is more to what god has for your husband for your wife for your children there is truly more to what god has in stock for your life for all he has created you for don't forget your life is not tied to what people said about you your life is not tied to what people have defined it to be your life is not tied to that geographical location that you are currently your life is not tied to what that situation has made you become there is truly more that god is telling about your life from the windows of the heavens there is a story there is a painting a picture god is designing an orchestration by the heavenlies by god himself about your life so there is more about your life don't give up on that situation because by prayer we become that that god wants us truly to become paul rightfully speaking he said as daily as we behold in the glass we are changed into that same image don't stop beholding behold the lord in prayer behold and waiting upon him for there is more i bring to you this message i tell you again and again there is more to what god is set to do in your life don't give up on him share this video also to every weak one to every feeble one who you believe or who you feel their life has been written off tell them to bounce back again because god is doing new things in their life god bless you so much we love you see you in our next video and stay revived